Hello? I silenced my phone, but still got a notification that stuff happened. So what's up? Joe Biden has announced his election loss any percent run. Not content with simply going back on his environmental promises, Biden is now talking about trying to get rid of the youth vote by banning TikTok. Biden, who was already an old man when area codes became mandatory in phone numbers, is doing policy on what we can do with our phones. Despite all the bluster about China, this is in part due to Mark Zuckerberg making an actual play to get rid of TikTok. Meta has quite literally hired PR firms to seed bad stories about TikTok so that people get mad about it. And now people are mad about it, and it's a really easy target. And so politicians get to look tough on China, and Mark Zuckerberg gets more people on Instagram Reels. Meanwhile, the hundred million Americans that use the app are just fucked. Bafflingly, there are actual human beings supporting the idea of the government having the ability to unilaterally ban an app. This is weird. I do not care if you don't like the clock app. I do not care if you think it's a national security risk. And I do not care if they've been spying on people. It is a phone app and you can choose what the fuck to do with your phone. I am a privacy conscious person. I use TikTok also. I'm a reasonable human who can make judgment calls about what I wanna do with my time. And what I want to do with my time is look at stupid cat videos on the funny app. I'm still talking about this, but it's because I do not like that Mark Zuckerberg can control politicians to the point that they ban things from our phone for his market game. And even if the Mark Zuckerberg thing was not a part of this story, it wouldn't change anything because the reasons that they're giving for banning things from your phone are bullshit. The only argument that I've seen that makes any sense at all about this is reciprocity. With China not allowing certain US apps there, we shouldn't allow their apps here. To which I say, what? China's bad. They have a great firewall and they don't let their people experience the free internet. We should do the same thing to show them what's what. The internet should not belong to a country. And if you are an American having any thoughts about this, imagine being anyone outside of America trying to use the internet in which the vast majority of major apps are American. I guess they should just ban all of our apps? There are other stories. I'm going to move on now. The Steam Spring Sale is happening, so if you're a gamer, you should go get games. And also, the Steam Deck is 10% off. The Steam Deck is legitimately the best value gaming device that you can buy right now. Like, it's kind of ridiculous how powerful this thing is for the price. I am not sponsored. This is not a sponsored segment. I am just a dirty bitch. Your car's warranty is about to expire and you won't know about it anymore because the FCC is demanding that phone companies block spam texts. Despite having a partisan divide at two and two and not having a fifth board member appointed by the Democrats because Joe Manchin blocked that, they're, they're doing something kind of good. Michigan has enshrined the rainbow in their civil rights. They have expanded their civil rights law to include LGBTQ plus folk. Governor Whitmer, who was the target of an attempted kidnapping and assassination from fascists, said that this is a new day in Michigan and this is a long time coming. This is in stark contrast to what some other places in this country are doing and is a reminder that we should not settle for not being actively harmful. Never, and I repeat, never let the bastards get you down. Speaking of bastards, a six week abortion ban is likely to take hold in Florida. DeSantis, who has previously signed a 15 week abortion ban is very likely to sign the six week abortion ban that's currently making its way through their supermajority. I had the pleasure of sitting down with Governor DeSantis to get a quote on this upcoming legislation. He said, quote, yeah, six weeks is a start, but what I really wanted was to personally beat women in this country with my own hands so that I could finally reach climax. For legal reasons, that was a joke. I'm running low on battery, rapid fire. France is about to be lit, literally, because Macron just shoved through their retirement age increase bill that nobody wanted. So there's gonna be a lot of fire. Tyson, the chicken people, are laying off 1,700 workers. The economy may be down, but cocaine production is at a record high. A Russian fighter jet intercepted a US drone, and, and there's gonna be a lot of show about that. Hey, remember Google Glass? Well, that was actually still a thing and was being used in corporate environments, but is that's also being killed off now. The CEO of Twitch is stepping down to just kind of vibe. And finally, DreamWorks has open sourced their rendering software that they've used for a lot of their movies recently. That's kind of neat. Thank you so much for listening to today's episode of Stuff Keeps Happening. Head to stuffkeepshappening.online for sources, bonus content, and a whole pot of lucky charms. Hmm. My name is Endeavorance. I'll be back on Monday. Take care and be well.